So the video gonna tell you that celebrity endorsements don't mean jack. What did it do for Kamala Harris? Not much. You know, you had the Swifties with Taylor Swift. There was some backlash probably for her for a sec saying what she did. Didn't do no, didn't make a dent. You know, you had Cardi B. It didn't make a dent. Cardi B's upset with the results. Then you had the almighty Beyonce. Didn't make a dent. Why? Because time content creators and people that are real that you can actually see or have conversation with are the superstars of today. Hollywood, even though it still has its past luster and what have you, is past luster. It's not present. Let me give you an example of this. Quincy Jones just recently departed. And when you think about it, right, say, for instance, you only cared about Quincy Jones by his association with Michael Jackson, right? Let's just use off the wall through the bad era, shall we? 79 through 87. Well, you're talking about almost 40 years ago with all that happened with those heights, right? When you get in totality, right? Because off the wall is 45 years old, Thriller is 41, and bad is 37. So that's about 40 years, briefly when you put it all together. Point being is that the celebratory for him was from way back when. There ain't nothing in recent memory that's going to triumph or touch that or that's out in the last 15, 20 years of artistry of people. Meaning that if you're using it from a political clout, it don't mean much. When Michael Jackson went to the White House with Reagan, the D.A.R.E. program, Just Say No to Drugs, that was a big deal. And Michael Jackson would show up with Clinton inauguration and Bush Sr. And, you know, association with different people through the years. That once upon a time meant something. It don't mean that much now. And some people frowned upon it. But the photo ops, be it with Elvis Presley with Nixon or James Brown with Nixon or something, those photo ops were big deals. They don't mean nothing anymore. Because the industry isn't what it once was. The illusion for uh, conclu conclusion delusion for acceptance is not the same, and people aren't going based on some entertainers. They'll go pay outrageous amount of money for concert tickets. They won't pay to hear what they got to say political. They want you to shut up and sing or shut up and dribble, unless of course you endorse who they like. But even if you endorse who they like, there ain't gonna be anything that sways that people are gonna come run to you because of that either. So. It's a fine line that basically what it means and what it says in English is that it's irrelevant to that purpose. It has no bearing like it once did. And once upon a time, it meant something with the photo op or to use. And it still has its cliche cachet. Don't get it twisted. Hollywood and D.C. are very much merged and together. However, trying to sell it to sell an agenda for artistry or to push ain't enough. And just as light in the cakes as Taylor Swift's music is to a lot of people who don't be feeling it, it's how they looked at Kamala Harris's not having anything there, but just bringing on eye candy or that latest flavor or the latest fashion to sell an agenda. It didn't work. And Beyonce, whose country album, which was much ballyhooed, and all her so-called independence and all her empowerment don't really translate to the sex because it doesn't translate to what you think. You know, and the large majority of white women and whatnot obviously show that. But the point is, content creators and people that influencers who create social media platforms, etc., are the ones that get more of what people can relate to. That Hollywood Q&A and them softball questions and posing and all that is played. That's why the streaming, that's why they got to the AI robots and all the other things, because no one is identifying with that no more. Your latest teen sensation act, you know, when I when I see someone like Sabrina Carpenter or something like that, you know, uh, some of the acts that are out, it's been done before and it's been done a hundred times better. People will come along and be done with it and get tired of it because there's nothing that for all the entertainment access that you have, we don't have entertainers that you have to care about. So and in trying to endorse someone for, for presidency or candidacy, Knowing all you're going to get is shrugged shoulders, rolled eyes, and whatever. So that's where we are. But anyway, tell me what you think. And I'm saying that content creators, 
the people that meet the super uh, highways creators and, and the regular carry more sway than Hollywood actors and entertainers today. It's not the same no more. It, and that's it's a big change. War shows don't pop like that no more. And that so-called, ooh, superstar thing. Yeah, there's still fans that people support it. But when we talking about the sway and the movement in the streets, they don't carry no weight no more. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another and shit if you like. Hit that membership. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay well. Stay woke. I'm out one time. Peace.